Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. It's now time for our Health Beat segment. We're looking for tips that will help us all live better. It's Mental Illness Month, and Dr. Shern and Dr. Rustin join us now to tell us more. Welcome, doctors. Hey, well, it's great to be with you. Thank you. Now, Dr. Shearn, were you aware you're sitting next to an award-winning filmmaker? <laughs> I am quite aware of that. I've known Dr. Rustin for a few years now, and she's a force of nature. Well, Dr. Rustin, I have to ask, what's it like having a second passion like filmmaking? Well, you know, um, it's, for me, it's really been a tool about getting people to talk about difficult situations, and one of which is mental illness. So when I knew that my father with schizophrenia was something people didn't talk much about and wanted to work to destigmatize it, I made a film about that. And then when I learned about psychiatric advance directives, how my father could write down when he wasn't having a crisis the things that he would want to help him get better out of a crisis, I said, wow, I got to make a film about that. So it's been a great uh, project to get people to know about these uh, psychiatric advance directives. And what would you like us to know about schizophrenia? Well, I think that um, it's important to know that it can be very much of a thought disorder if a person's in crisis. So they might not be able to really say the type of things that they really want to be saying. Their mind can be kind of overcome. And therefore, you know, a psychiatric advance directive is a form by which somebody writes down the type of preferences that they want and it gives them that voice. That's so great. I think, I th yeah, I think it's very much of delusions, but not all the time. And people, I think, misunderstand the illness. And Dr. Shearn, let's turn our attention back to you. Tell us about your role in Mental Health America. Well, Mental Health America is the nation's oldest and largest uh, advocacy organization concerned with all aspects of mental health and mental illness. And uh, what we're doing this year uh, in conjunction with Mental Health Awareness Week, uh, which begins uh, uh, next week, uh, is we're launching a website, uh, actually today, called MyPlanMyLife.org, and it's a website about psychiatric advanced directives. Uh, and psychiatric advanced directives are forms uh, that people, particularly people with severe mental illnesses like schizophrenia, uh, can fill out when they're feeling well, healthy, uh, that detail the kinds of things that they want to have included in their, in their care should they become ill, and unable to fully participate and identify uh, people who they want to be contacted or notified should they, uh, should they get ill. So right now, we're working on trying to promote uh, and increase awareness of these really important documents that people, particularly people with severe mental illnesses, should have. Well, you know you're talking to us in Georgia, and we're so proud of Rosalind Carter. Tell us what she's meant to your movement. Rosalind Carter is uh, another force of nature. She's an extraordinary woman. Uh, and has always been uh, so supportive of everything uh, that, uh, uh, that we do. Uh, and uh, uh, she was instrumental uh, in terms of uh, many national uh, plans with regard to mental illness. When she was in the White House, uh, she led an effort in this regard. And mm -hmm. I just uh, the other day, I saw Rosalind and Jimmy on uh, C-SPAN, and she was talking about the parody law that we got enacted in 2008 and how we still have work to do uh, to really get it uh, fully in action. So she's a, a very, very dear person to our organization uh, and to the mental health movement generally. You know, Dr. Russin, you mentioned the stigma of mental illness. What do you want us to know? Um, well, I think one thing is that people are just labeled, and that's something Rosalind Carter's work to do with journalists, is to train right. them to not identify mental illness with violence, which is so... Um, very, very rare and gets, so I think that it's talking about mental illness with people so that we can educate ourselves. Going to the My Plan My Life uh, website, actually, I filmed video clips uh, with people who've used an advanced directive and felt very empowered. You hear their productive lives and you really get to meet people who are very open with their illness and that's a big part of destigmatizing this often misunderstood uh, you know, Ill set of illnesses. Dr. Shearn, what would you say to someone that has been recently diagnosed with a mental illness? Well, number one, congratulations on getting involved in your own recovery. So if you've gotten a diagnosis, that means you've taken that first important step towards getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, doing things like uh, exercising advanced, psychiatric advanced directives can be an important part 
uh, of your treatment, particularly if you've been diagnosed with a more severe illness and there's a likelihood that you might go into crisis and not be able to sort of fully direct and participate uh, in your care. So I would recommend that you look at the My Plan My Life uh, website. And I think really importantly, uh, these are treatable conditions. They're real conditions we have an uh, a, a array of strategies that can help people. And so it's very important uh, to be hopeful. So if you've just been diagnosed, uh, you're on your way uh, to recovery, and something like a psychiatric advanced directive could be very helpful to you. Doctors, thanks for your passion and giving us such a great resource to follow up on. Hey, thank you, Khan. Thank you. You can go to our Get Connected website and check out other Health Beat segments at KhanTV.com. We'll be right back and we'll get you connected.